For problem number eight, we are going to uh, have to use completing the square to uh, convert this equation into standard form. Uh, and then we will graph the equation and say which type of conic it is. We're going to find its center, its vertices, and foci. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is be adding some of uh, these terms over to both sides. So first I'm going to add that 11 over. So I'll get 9x squared plus 4y squared minus 18x plus 16y equals 11. And uh, now I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to rearrange these so we get the x's and y's together. And I'm also going to add these first terms of each of them, like we do in completing the square, to both sides. So over here, we're going to get 9x squared plus, well, minus 18x from over there, and then we're going to add 9. Plus 4y squared plus 16y plus 16 sorry about my handwriting equals 11 plus the 9 that we added, plus the 16 that we added, which will end up giving us 36. So, I'll group these together. We'll get 9x squared minus 18x plus 9. plus 4y squared plus 16y plus 16 equals 36. So on this left side I can factor out a 9. So I'll get 9 times x squared minus 2x plus 1, plus, and then on this right side we can factor out a 4, 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 36. And then this left term over here factors to uh, x minus 1 squared, so we'll keep that 9 times x minus 1 squared plus 4, and then this entire term factors to, ugh, factors to y plus 2 squared, equals 36. And now, in order to get a 1 on the right side, we're going to divide by 36. Uh, so, when we do that, we are going to get 9 times x minus 1 squared over 36 plus 4 times y, sorry, y plus 2 squared over 36 equals 1. And then this fraction on the left will get rid of the 9, so it'll turn into x minus 1 squared over 4 plus, and then this uh, one over here will get rid of the 4, so y plus 2 squared over 9 
And that's just simplifying uh, that fraction and that fraction. And then that'll be equal to 1. And we can see that uh, this is definitely one of our conics. So first of all, I'm going to box this answer. So that's our standard form equation. And if we look at our conic sheet, we can see that this is actually the equation for an ellipse. So I'll go down here. I'll write ellipse for you. We can look at the center by looking at these terms. So because it says x minus 1, the x value of the center is going to be positive 1. Uh, and then the y value is going to be negative 2. So there's our center. And to find uh, the vertex or vertices, we are going to use the equation um, h comma k plus a, where uh, oh sorry, uh, it it'll be h plus or minus a comma k, where uh, this is going to be our h and this is going to be our k. Um, so this will be our a squared. So if a squared equals 4, a equals 2, then we can uh, look at our h over here being uh, positive 1. So because the formula is h, h plus or minus a comma k, we're going to get 1 plus 2 comma our k value up here where it says y plus 2, that'll be a negative 2. And that equals, sorry, 3, negative 2. And then we'll also get 1 minus 2, comma, negative 2, which will give us negative 1, comma, negative 2. And then these are our vertices. And now we are going to want to find our covertices for our uh, minor axis. And to find our covertices, we uh, are going to look at h comma k plus or minus b. So for that, we can see that b squared is equal to 9. So b equals 3. So our h value being 1. And then k value being negative 2 plus b will give us 3. 1 comma negative 2 minus b sorry and then that'll end up equaling 1 1 and uh, 1 negative 5 so these are our covertices and um, so now if we want to find our foci, we're going to have to use our foci equation, which is a squared minus b squared equals c squared, where uh, 
well, we're using a squared minus b squared equals c squared for the focus formula, which is h plus or minus c comma k. So if we do a squared, I'll zoom in actually. a squared minus b squared equals c squared and a will be 2 and a squared is 4 minus b which is 3 and b squared is 9 I apologize we're actually gonna switch this around uh, because we want a squared to be bigger than b squared, so we're just going to do b squared minus a squared because we are just actually trying to find the difference between the two. So I'll get rid of that. And we'll do 9 minus 4 equals c squared. So that'll be 5 equals c squared. And c equals square root of 5. And now that we have that, we can use our formula for our foci, which is h comma k plus or minus c, which will be 1 comma, our k is negative 2 plus root 5, and 1 comma negative 2 minus the square root of 5. And then that will be our answer for the foci. And I'll go ahead and paste in a graph. So now that we have the graph, we can go ahead and graph this. So we know the center is at 1, negative 2. And we know that uh, the semi-major axis will be 3 units long because in the y direction because if we look at this equation that we made, if I can find it, um, this a value, well actually our b value down here, the longer one, is the semi-major axis and that is that squared. So the square root of 9 will be how far up we go. So 1, 2, 3. And then the other one was 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that'll be 2 units, and it will give us a shape like that, sort of, if you know how to draw. It'll be better. But, yeah.